And next up, we have The Heavens Boxer, Sci-Fi, Literary, Esport, Mecha Battles, Overdrive, book number one. It is written by Ryan Tang. It is 303 pages, $2.99. It's available on Kindle Unlimited. And here's the author's description. Who wouldn't want to pilot giant robots for a living? The Overdrive Corporation has announced another selection. The exclusive trial process for aspiring Fortress Masters, designing maps for the mech battling virtual reality RPGs Julian's dream come true. But a brutal defeat against superstar sniper Dynamic has destroyed, has destroyed his confidence. Hoping to find a stronger machine, Julian enters an immersively challenging, an immensely challenging map that promises ultra-rare mech frames. During the ill-fated mission, he finally learns what it takes to get better. It's not the strength of the machine that matters most, it's the skill of the pilot. Julian re rebuilds his gameplay from the ground up, seeking out the strongest opponents and ch most challenging dungeons. He explores the countless aspects of Overdrive that he's inadvertently ignored, waiting for him as a rematch with a sniper he's never beaten, with a spot in the selection on the line. Um, so there we go. Um, <laughs> this is, to me, kind of an underrated mech battle game with story with an upgradable and customizable mechs. For me, I'm, I'm saying this underrated because uh, as of the time of this actual review, I think the story only has like uh, eight reviews, it's in, in, I think, like the, the 40 or 50 thousands on Amazon rankings. Um, and to me, this is actually a, a, a good story. And I think part of the problem of why people aren't um, seeing is maybe just because it's not really connecting with uh, directly with the audience. And also the early section of the story has a few issues, which I'll talk about. But overall, it's actually a rather entertaining story, especially if you like mech games or if you've ever played Battle Mech or, or Mech Warrior. This is definitely going to give you hints of those kind of mech battling stories and the you can actually tell in the story the author has a real love for those kind of stories and for these kinds of um, game mechanics um so on to the brief portion which is basically um the beginning of the novel um sets up a series of goals of entering a tournament and a bit of a uh, bit of information about a new kind of mech which is featured on the cover um i was a little surprised about how little that was developed in this book and i basically realized as that as the story approaches like oh those are series plot lines. They're not necessarily for this particular story, which was set up as essentially an introduction to this game world, an introduction to the main character and his and his um his 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 flaws and his his progression towards improving them and and sets up um book two, book three, whatever the case is, for the series goals of winning the tournament, getting a job or improving himself. Um and also is kind of subplot of of this thing with this particular new fancy you know world building mech. Uh, but that really isn't developed for most of the story. It's just set up. Um, so um, that was just kind of, a, oh, that's a slight disappointment that it, it wasn't developed more, but I understood why it wasn't developed. It's a series goal, not necessarily this particular novel's plotline. Instead, this novel's plotline is more of a slice of life story in the main character um, who's already kind of a, a semi-veteran of this, of this game world or this playing this uh, mech um, battle game. He is training a new, uh, a, a couple of people. Um, and in doing so, he's realizing his own shortcomings as a competitive player and training to kind of rectify him. And that's kind of his story arc. Um, there's a lot of other like s smaller fights and battles and, and character progressions that I'm trying to spoil for you. Um, but I really actually enjoyed the shift because the first scene of the story is really like this exhibition fight. And for me, it, it didn't really work well. And I think because that's that's the first thing you're reading the story, if you don't get past that, if you don't only read in the sample, you might not really enjoy, you might really see how good the fights in the story are, how good the game mechanics are, how good um, the depth of, of essentially the author's enjoyment of like mech fighting battles and mech fighting games, um, which is definitely comes after that first kind of fight scene. That first fight scene is a little awkward because it tries to do, I think, too much Instead of just coming out with like a really strong, good fight, um, which a lot of the fights in the story are, instead it also tries to combine introducing the main character, introducing a potential series antagonist, um, also describing the game mechanics, an introduction to the game world, the main character's flaws, um, all within this fight scene, which is supposed to be actively like exciting. And instead, because of those other elements, which um, are introduced at the same time, the, 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 that first fight feels really bogged down and, and its pacing is, is, is kind of ruined, unfortunately. Um, that 
And and for me, if I had only read that first scene, I was like, oh, this not really for me because that because of all those issues. But after that one scene, once the main character starts his training of his friend, and and it, which is a much better opportunity to describe slowly and more organically the game mechanics in the world. Um, and all and there's a ton of details in the story. Um, I'm sorry, the game can go to in a second. It felt it it was a much better story for me. And, and I, I honestly. I would skip that first scene if you um, just because it doesn't really add a lot. There's a, like a couple reference characters in there, but it doesn't for me. Um, it it kind of slows down. It slowed down my enjoyment of the story for, for a little bit. So that's just a personal thought, though. Um, I like I said I did like the dress after that a little bit better. Um, and again, the fights after that are, are much, much better because the author essentially um, separates the theory building the the strategizing for the fights and the actual fights like they're 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 separated and so the action has a chance to kind of be a highlight a little bit more later in the story um outside of combat things are still interesting as well there's a lot of good dialogue between players about tactics different play styles mech build theory um which is one of those things that make mech games kind of fun i and and those moments those those scenes between the fights actually i think i liked the best of the action is good, but I like that theory building between them because that's what I, I personally like about mech battling games. I like that about mech warrior and battle mechs um, is, is building my own mechs and customizing it and, and figuring out my particular place. I'm not, I never well, like playing other players, but just playing the campaign mode uh, was always fun in, in that kind of um, progression system. So that, that comes through a lot more on those in between moments. Um, there is no again RPG system, which is why I say this is actually a gamelet story, not really a, a little RPG story, because there is no actual role playing game mechanic here. Um, the progression in, in the system is really from like a lot of mech games, from weapons parts, um, upgrading your mechs, getting new mechs. Um, there is a classification system for the parts which have the word levels in them and um, classifications like S class or whatever. But they even within the game system and the story is like oh there's a wide variety within that class system so it's it's not really fully there i'm like oh yeah i can tell which really does fit within the um game mechanics for other like actual (laughs) or like mech games um mechs increase in power through good piloting and through purchasing when you're crafting more powerful parts and making mechs within the points limits given um there's plenty of other game stuff in the story um but it leads a little more towards the strategy of player versus environment versus player versus player build style play style player skills in crafting or, or piloting you can tell like said in the story that the author really does have a passion for mechs and mech games and all that stuff is really deep and intense and, and, and really quite enjoyable. Um, overall, it's a good story. Um, once you get past that initial fight, um, I, I personally wish I would have actually had RPG mechanics because I love loader RPG, but at the same time, I really did like the story as, as it was, it, it, it is faithful to mech style, um, games. Um, that I played on the PC. I was like, oh, I can see influence from here and here. Um, and and it, it's faithful to that kind of stuff. So if you like mech games, I absolutely think you'll enjoy the story. But, uh, for me, I had a good time with it. I, I, I kind of knocked off a little bit just because, again, lack of actual RPG mechanics. Um, and also just like that early fight scene. So for me, it gets a score of 7.4 to 10, um, which is still a good score. Um, like I said, I had a nice time with it. Um, Heavens, Boxer, Sci-Fi, Little BG, Esports, Mech Battles, Overdrive, Book Number 1. Again, this is kind of an underrated uh, uh, a story. And I give it a score of 7.4 out of 10.